Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here, bringing you part one in our walkthrough for the 28th mystery in the Nancy Drew series, Nancy Drew, Ghost of Thornton Hall. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's very scary. Most detectives agree that either this game or Shadow at the Water's Edge is the scariest game in the entire series, so we are in for a frightful walkthrough. Super excited. We've got our interface here for the newer games. We can do a new game, and then down here we have extras that you can look at when you finish the game, and then more ND, which shows you all of the previous games but let's go ahead and start a new game on master sleuth with no hints a basic task list and more challenging puzzles mm. uh, what time is it light savannah is that you what's wrong I got a case for you. Can it wait until later? I'm sorry, it can't. There's been a kidnapping. A girl, just a little older than you. <sighs> Shouldn't the police be taking care of this? There's only so much they can do, and she needs to be found before something bad happens. What do you mean? The call came in for me, but I can't go. Thornton Hall is a dangerous place for people like me. Ghost hunters, you mean? So people think it's haunted? Uh-uh. They know. Jessalyn needs someone who ain't afraid to run after her. That ain't me. What I'm asking of you is dangerous. After everything you did for me in Japan, I'll do it. Thank you. Drive to the airport now. I'll arrange a ticket. And Nancy, I didn't call you just because you're a good detective. I called you because you're a skeptic. Thornton Hall is no place for anyone who believes. Well, then you call the right detective. I'm serious. You think long and hard about that before you get on that plane. If what you find on the island is going to get to you, don't go. Stay home. Don't worry. I'm on the case. It's going to get to me. Just because you're brave doesn't mean I am, Nancy. You sure about this? I am. Watch yourself around the Thorntons. They earn their bad reputation. Well, thanks for being concerned. I should be okay. Well, it depends who's here. Hope for your sake Wade's not skulking around. Or that loony bin reject, Harper. But it's Charlotte you best watch for. Black Rock Island belongs to her now. Has ever since the night the fire took her. Take care now. This is creepy. We've got these beautiful vines and this terrifying music and fog rolling in everywhere we look. And we are trapped on an island, it sounds like. Oh, squeak. Like on an island, so we are stuck even more. Okay, what's this? Scavenger list. 21 items to search and find. There's a few that looks like they did find. A portrait, a statue, entrance to the ruins, bag of cotton, gravestone epitaph hunt. That looks like something important to write down. That looks like a code. See the ghost. Oh, and that's crossed off. <laughs> that's not good. Take a photo of a skeleton, read a book about the family, open a crypt. Ooh. Find a creepy spider. Ew. Hate spiders. Okay. Interesting. Anything over here? Hey! Whoa. <gasps> You're not Savannah. No, but you must be Wade. Is she with you? Are you the new assistant? What's his name, get canned or something? Logan? I don't know. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, but... Nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Well, she seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. Ghosts? No, that ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. I hope Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. What kind of mess? Take a look around and then you tell me. Who's more welcome here? The living 
or the dead. Anyway, Savannah had a package sent. I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. Do you know Savannah? I did, once. And now? And now I don't. How did you meet Savannah? We went to the same bookstore. You don't seem like the type. I'll take that as a compliment and an insult. How long ago was this? A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carried these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. What kind of stuff? All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading. Like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, What is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? Nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected. But then I look at the book. What was the book? That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage, and so on, going way back. Why would she have that? Why, indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her, and maybe she'll tell you about it. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton Hall. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a Black Tuesday banker. In the end, the landing was just as rough. You said you were researching the family. Why? After Charlotte died, that's when something I always knew came out shining so bright, I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I used to think I was on the side of good. And now? What do you think? I don't know. Yep, same here. What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here, seeing the state we're in, but we're loaded. What's that have to do with anything? The Thornton family bought its money with blood, and not always our own. And you think one part of the family have more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead, especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. Who else is here? Clara. That's Jesselyn's mother. Colton, her fiancé. Anyone else? Depends what you mean by anyone. Any other alive or verifiably real people? No. See you later. Bye. That's not exactly encouraging. <laughs> okay. No need to jump. Just me. Can you tell me about some of these stones? I'll tell you what I can. But sometimes it's best to just look and listen. That there is Clara's mother. What can you tell me about her? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Why not? Don't know. When Clara was about ten, Rosalie got real sick. Every day Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself. But Rosalie wouldn't say. That's sad. So he, I guess he'll tell us about all these people, or at least some of them. Ruby Newton, a spark at birth, a flame in life, a quiet ember in the night. Hmm, interesting. Um, what about over here? This blank one is my favorite. Why is that? Well, who doesn't want a celebrity in the family? Especially one that rubs all the wrong people the wrong way. The Grey Lady. In the Civil War, they say she was a spy, passing codes for the North. If you look, you can find some of her contraptions here. Her service gave the Thornton family this land. Hmm. So a spy for the North. That's cool. Harper Stone. Harper? Indeed. She ran away shortly after Charlotte died. Long enough that we thought we'd lost her too. One day she walked in the front door looking wild and thin as a spring sapling. Never said where she was. 
Her granddaddy was so mad he left the stone to remind her of what she'd put them through. She'd sit out there and read. Don't know if it was spite or if it made her feel at home. Knowing her, probably both. Lost and dearly missed. Interesting. Someone May Newton died March 14, 1933. Okay. Can we, are there any more? I feel like there's another row. Oh yeah, there totally is. Um. Beauregard Thornton, mean old codger. How do you know? He died in 1935, you can't be that old. There's no way you're in like your 80s. Sarah Emma Thornton, 1842 to 1887. May she find her voice once more. Hmm. That's Charlotte. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. That's a sad inscription. It was a sad time. None of us wanted to see her leave. We didn't expect it to become what it's become. That's very spooky. <laughs> very unsettling. Luther, my daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. He had a hot temper, but a soft heart, and no mind for business. He wasn't intuitive. He brought me out here to the stones at night. Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, Daddy. Hmm. That's sweet. Virginia, my mother. Rest her soul. Can you tell me anything about her? Just that I miss her, and I always will. Aww, that's so sad. Lee Thornton, 1915 to 1975. Okay. And then there's like this statue. Very creepy looking. Thornton Cemetery, established 1866. This plaque honors those who found their final rest beyond the family grounds, including Franklin Thornton, born May 4th, 1895, died October 25th, 1917, defending his nation, dedicated January 15th, 1918. Okay. Um, I guess let's step down. Maybe go this way. There's like a fountain over here. Pretty. I'm sure it's definitely less scary during the day, <laughs> one would assume. But then again, most places are. Roger and Marie, side by side from the day they married to the day they died. Both real sweet. Charlotte and Harper's parents, may they rest in peace. Roger? Born 1943 and died 1984. And Mariana also died in 1984. So they must have died at the same time. It's sad. In like a car accident or something. This looks like a creepy crypt. It's locked. The Crypt Keeper. Like in Scooby Doo. <laughs> I think it's Scooby Doo, isn't it? Crypt Keeper, isn't that one of the villains? Anything else you gotta say? Wanna hear a ghost? What? No. Check it out. Have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead, no offense meant. But yes, I do find it interesting. Why? Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. You northerners don't have a lock on big thinkers. We got plenty. Like Roscoe J. Redbrook and the Gimble Tucky Boys. And I dare you to say their lyrics don't equal those of the Greek poets. And we got that old guy with the white suit and the chickens. Point is, I like ghosts because they show me what is, not what I want to see. And wearing boots don't make you stupid. Makes you smart, if it's muddy. True. Do you have a key to the crypts? Sorry. 
I'd better get going. Adios. The ghost recordings all sound like the ones that we hear in Shadow at the Water's Edge, which is also where we met Savannah. So, lots of Shadow at the Water's Edge vibes here, especially since this is easily up there as one of the scariest games. Okay. So, here we are back at or at the house, Jessalyn? I suppose. What? Excuse me? Sorry. Of course you're not. I'm just tired. No, don't be. I'm Nancy. You're here to help? Savannah Woodham called me in. She seems to think there's a supernatural explanation to Jessalyn's disappearance. <sighs> a couple of days back, that would have earned an eye roll. I'm Colton, the fiancé. Welcome to Thornton Hall. I'd extend you all the courtesies of the Thornton clan, but we seem to be about 20 years too late for that. You might need this. I found it in the house. Is this Jessalyn's? Yeah. It's dead, though. And the charger got mangled by something. Maybe you could channel all that inquisitive energy into seeing if you can get that old phone back up and running. Were you and Jessalyn getting married soon? Yes. Any chance this is just pre-wedding jitters? She might have had second thoughts about the wedding. Trust me, everyone does. But she never let anyone worry about her like this. She loved her family more than anything. Is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? I never said that. True, but you implied it. You said, trust me, everyone does. I know. I remember it like it was just moments ago. See you later. Goodbye. That's because it was. Okay, so that's Colton, the fiancé. Um, anything over here? That's so creepy. There isn't any wind. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That is a hammer. Okay. Uh, cool. I think that's everything out here. Let's head inside. Ooh, it is very dark in here. Anything in here? Oh, a person. You must be Nancy. Yes, you must be Clara, Jessalyn's mother. Yes. I want you to know that I'm here to help you with anything you need. That's real sweet, hon. I know you may not want me here since you didn't actually call me yourself. So long as you help me find Jessalyn, you're welcome under what's left of my roof here. Is there anything else I should know that might help me find Jessalyn? Yeah. Keep a suspicious eye on Wade. Wade didn't seem all that dangerous to me. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. As a matter of fact... Wade's a nice guy when he wants to be, and only when he wants to be. I'm happy we have another set of eyes looking for Jesse, but I do hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Is there any chance Jessalyn's disappearance could be cold feet? My Jessie would never put her family through this nightmare, never. Were things good between Colton and Jessalyn? They had their rows and their romantic dinners, same as any couple. Colton had some... Well, hon, he had some issues, but they worked through them. You mentioned that Colton had some issues. What did you mean? To put it delicately, family issues. Never you mind, it has nothing to do with what's going on now. Who did Jessalyn come here with? Addison. I tried talking to her, but she was a wreck. Here. Addison Hammond. She'll have calmed down a bit by now. I hope. What do you think happened to Jessalyn? You wouldn't know by the look of this dump, but we're worth a great deal of money. Well, that's what I thought this was. But then, no, no. Not yet, at least. I can't believe I'm praying for a ransom note to show up. It's like someone's trying to punish us. Well, why do you say that? Thornton Hall was once something truly beautiful. But so much greed and tragedy built up in these walls that when they started to crumble, I wanted to save this place, make it mine. 
but I couldn't. So whoever took Jessie wanted us to sit here, in this broken down old house, waiting for her. Why is everyone here? Shouldn't we be out searching for Jessalyn? I closed down the company. The entire staff is out combing the woods. I said, sit home or join the search. You get paid either way. Not a soul stayed home. Jessalyn grew up in the business. She's got a lot of people looking out for her. I can be thankful for that. The police recommended a presence here. They said we'd have a better chance of noticing if something was off here, knowing the place and all. Goodbye. Bye. All right, so that's Clara. Anything else in this room? Portrait of uh, Mr. Hiriam Thornton. Anything over here? Jeb Thornton and Sarah Emma Wakeman. And a fireplace. A couple books that we'll have to check out. But maybe we'll leave that for the next part. I think I'm going to leave this part right here. Here, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.